It's a story of sources thought lost and recordings found again of an inexperienced journalist and a boy from Sao Paulo with broken English away from the big media world. Uh, go car here in Europe in the important race. Yeah. is more competitive than Formula Ford. Yeah. Have more frames, more engines, more tires, special tires. You see the, the level is more high than Formula 4 cars. Ayrton Senna, practically the only driver who moves F1 fans all over the world to this day, 20 years after his tragic death. A legend with three world champion titles and 41 wins in 161 races. Moments that he recorded from the very start. Formula One photographer Keith Sutton. Well, the story goes back to uh, 1981 when I was in my second year of motorsport photography. And uh, I just met uh, Ayrton Senna de Silva. He contacted me and then I started working for him as his photographer. Today, Keith Sutton has long been one of motorsport's most renowned journalists. His Senna shots, legendary triumphs captured for eternity. After success at home, Senna moved in 1981 to England, where he raced go-karts and in parallel in British Formula Ford for the Van Diemen team. An Italian magazine became aware of the 20-year-old Brazilian and asked Sutton to get an interview. So I went and sat in the back of his uh, Alpha, in the front of his Alpha Sud, and I did this interview with him. Well, a little bit after that, what happened is, uh, very sadly, I lost the tape recorder with the tape in it. Well, that's what I thought. His career continued, and with it, Ayrton Senna's triumphal march in the 80s, until the drama of 1994. The fans' adoration, however, remained undying, and Sutton preserved his friend's legacy in exhibitions. Then, suddenly, you know, last year was uh, the anniversary, 20-year anniversary of uh, Ayrton's death in Imola. And I wanted to find some of the, the old letters that Ayrton used to write to me. And I was in the loft, searching through all these boxes, and then I found a little tape, a little cassette, and there it was. The, the lost tape. The interview with Ayrton Senna back in 1981, in June 81, before anybody had interviewed him or heard about him. And I was so excited, you know, about this tape. Audio record, thought lost and now discovered again. Fascinating contemporary recordings from an icon's early days. Formula Ford rookie, hard graft, ambitions and being away from home. Do you do a lot of testing? Uh, yes, yeah. yes, I'm doing all, uh, many, many tests in, yeah. in the Van Diemen car. We are trying every develop. week yeah. develop as much as we can. To, to have conditions to change to Formula 3 next year, I must have very, very good reasons all the season yeah. to make very good publicity and fun sponsor. No, like? my family like go yeah. kart, not not, not cars car. because yeah. uh, cars. I need to come in here in England, leave yeah. all the year. I'm so far from family. You see, to live in England is not so good to relationship. You see, yeah. between family me That's members. Right. The rest is motorsport history. Keith Sutton experienced it close up. Part of it sensationally rediscovered with these recordings. Something he, like millions of fans worldwide, will never forget. The days of the great Ayrton Senna da Silva.